Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sally Lemis. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. The road to herd immunity is looking pretty smooth. Also tonight, pool applicants are given more time to gather requirements. And the island's only trade schools is about to open. In sports, spills and thrills abound at Cowtown. Stay with us, these stories and more are next. Good morning, Kiko. I am here at Docomo Walleri Branch. The Docomo staff here are super helpful with my appointment. They take good care of me in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for helping me out downloading and using the Skate Lionel app. I can take care of all my Docomo needs. No need to wait in line with the Skate Lionel app. We love you, Docomo Pacific. Better together. So up until now, the only ways we've had to fight COVID are closing things down, which has been really hard on people here in the CNMI. Um, a lot of people have lost jobs, and a lot of people have lost incomes. Uh, and although it's been effective, it's not sustainable. It's not something we can do forever. Um, vaccination is a way for us to safely resume a lot of those things that bring vibrancy to the CNMI, to hopefully reopen to tourism in some safe capacity, to get people back to work in various service industries. The Road to 80 continues with $2,000 in cash, brought to you in part by this week's featured sponsor, Helios Engineering Group. This is the CNMI's push for an 80% vaccination rate, and we've got thousands of dollars and a Nissan Rogue Sport to drive us there. Watch the next drawing this Friday, July 30th on the Road to 80 CNMI Facebook page. Register for your shot today at VaccinateCNMI.com or call 682-SHOT. The Road to 80 is brought to you by the Office of the Governor, COVID-19 Task Force, Commonwealth Health Care Corporation, Joe 10 Enterprises, Bridge Capital, Tan Holdings, and more. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I am the I in CNMI. We are a team, and you cannot spell team without me. M-E. Get a shot. An opportunity to set the CNMI free from COVID-19. So let's go for a save. A strikeout. A knockout punch. That's our goal. Oh, v for victory. V for vaccinate. Let's make this a team win and we can all celebrate. Half a day to the WAMI and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Monday, July 26, 2021. The cinema now has a 70% fully vaccinated community. Only 4,200 more people are needed to reach the CNMI's goal of an 80% fully vaccinated community. Over the weekend, the CNMI hit the 70% mark, which represents the cooperation of the community in combating this virus. 
A raffle for cash prizes is also being awarded to help push the road to 80. The vaccine is free and available. If you are interested, you may call 682-SHOT or visit vaccinatecinemai.com. Because of an additional requirement for those receiving PUA, the application process has been extended. Take a listen. The Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program ends September 4 of this year, but since there has been an additional requirement, the application period will be extended until October. The CNMI Department of Labor will continue to accept applications up through October 4, 2020-21, so that we can have our applicants catch up, uh, get their documents complete, and get them paid for benefits through September. So um, we have a total of about 71 days before we end the PUA program. 71 days, three hours, 22 minutes, and 67 seconds. But who's counting? Labor Secretary Vicky Beneventi says their office continues to assist applicants who may be lacking requirements and may be the cause of delay in their payment dates. Many times our applicants are, are frustrated because they feel that they see an in-progress message on their portal. And when we remind them that it, it, the onus is on them to submit all their documents, and whether it be an updated timesheet, updated payroll timesheet, or paycheck stubs, or most importantly, an updated employment certification letter, uh, these documents have to be in the portal uploaded before a pool adjudicator can investigate and completely press the go button on their application. So we have also been mandated to provide the applicants 21 to 90 days to submit these documents. And sometimes the applicants take more longer than 90 days and that's what's holding up their own application. Uh, we try to help them, we call their employers for them perhaps if they have a hard time trying to contact their former employer for data or timesheets or payroll check stubs. We try to assist the claimant process these applications for them. Uh, in that way. Uh, but the, really the onus is on the applicant to provide all the complete documents so that we can push them forward for benefits processing. For more questions, you may call the PUA call center. The Commonwealth Ports Authority is in disagreement to the recent increase of airfare from Star Marianas. According to Kimberly King Hines, Star Marianas has not made payments to the Commonwealth Ports Authority since 2015. Overall, they owe about $2.3 million for employment fees, deployment fees, landing fees, and other various fees CPA imposes on all airline carriers. CPA has also waived their fees since June up until December. And with the recent increase in airfare from Saipan to Tinian and Rota, Heinz states it is unacceptable. So from, from 2015, you haven't paid beginning June? We've waived 100%, mm -hmm. but you're still increasing ticket prices. That's true. Right. <laughs> How does that make sense? Heinz states it's frustrating, especially when money is needed for capital improvement. And as an autonomous agency, CPA relies on those fees that were supposed to be paid by Star Marianas. Star Marianas, for a long time, has been arguing that, you know, that Tinian and Rhoda should be waived in as far as the collection of those PFCs to basically you know, lessen the burden on inter-island commute, which I don't disagree with. But here's the thing, you know, I can't just think of Tinian and Rhoda. I have a duty and an obligation to the entire Commonwealth. And when you only tax a certain group of people, right, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's unfair, right? And so, there are improvements that are needed to be made on Tinian Road as well. Where am I going to get that money? Right? So, you know, everybody basically has to share in this burden. And for negotiations on payment plans between CPA and Star Marianas, they too have not been successful. I don't know if you guys remember, but we were at the Senate where uh, there was a Senate committee meeting and, and we came and we, we tried to have that conversation, but uh we agreed basically at that point in time to kind of put a stop to the litigation but then um yeah. they ended up reneging on that agreement so that's where we're at according to the star marianas website there will be an increase of ten dollars on plane tickets beginning august 1. 
The Northern Marianas Technical Institute is now open for registration. The fall semester for NMTI begins on August 18, 2021. Their courses range from welding, plumbing, construction technology, automotive, and much more. For more information, you may visit their Facebook page, NM Tech, or call 235-6684. Coming up, a group of admirers celebrate a famous aviator's birthday. Stay tuned. My doctor gave me the pills, so they must be safe, right? If taken exactly as prescribed, short-term use can be safe, but painkillers have real risk. Misusing an opioid painkiller can cause serious harm including addiction and death, and misuse can happen quite easily. Make sure you never mix them with alcohol, antidepressants, sedatives, or sleep aids. And if you are prescribed an opioid, you need to tell your doctor about any other drugs including herbal supplements that you are taking. It only takes a little to lose a lot. All workers have the right to a safe workplace. Employers must provide a workplace that is free from recognized hazards and comply with applicable OSHA standards, including proper reporting of injuries. Training needs to be done in a language and vocabulary employees can understand. And an OSHA information poster must be displayed prominently in the workplace. Workers. You have the right to raise a safety or health concern with your employer or OSHA without being retaliated against. And request an OSHA consultation of your workplace if you believe there are unsafe or unhealthy conditions. OSHA can help. Free assistance to identify and correct hazards is available to small and medium-sized employers without citation or penalty. So look out, speak up, and stay safe. Job safety and health, it's not only good practice, it's the law. Check out OSHA.gov or call 664 3154 or 3155. I would recommend websites like the CDC website, Mayo Clinic website, any established. Um, hospital system or healthcare system. I suspect that Kaiser has a lot of information out there. I would go um, to known websites, WebMD, Healthline, they all have a, a, a lot of information that is reliable and w well thought out. I would much less go to blogs and the individuals who are looking at it from their own perspective and not necessarily science. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. The American Rescue Plan Act will provide extra funding for the revitalization of the cattle industry on Tinian. Take a listen. 
the cattle industry on Tinian could stimulate a healthy economic activity for the CNMI. The Cooperative Research Extension and Educational Services and the Commonwealth Economic Development Authority continue to conduct research and work with the island's leadership to help guarantee food security, not only to Tinian, but to Rhoda and Saipan as well. Lawmakers are also pushing for economic progress and says the only concern is funding. Governor Torres is in support of the cattle industry. Uh, under the ARPA funds, uh, we're putting $1 million for Rhoda to, do, to, um, to enhance their agriculture program, and then $1 million for Rhoda and for Tinian for the cattle ranch, um, and then here in Saipan and Northern Island will be for fishing. Uh, we look forward to it. Uh, they have a program uh, in August, I believe, August 16, um, on beef, beef, beer, and, and band. So that's we want to promote that. Uh, they have really good uh, quality beef, and I hope that we can uh, do an export for not just inner island, but hopefully later on outside Sinai. And if the cattle industry succeeds, the next item on their agenda will be the famous Tinian hot peppers. Over the weekend, a group gathers to celebrate the birthday of Amelia Earhart, the famous aviator with possible siphon ties. Marie Costro is the president of the Amelia Earhart Memorial Monument Association. On Saturday, July 24th, the group gathered at the NMI Museum in Garpen to celebrate the 124th birthday of the famous aviator. I think that uh, Saipan has an obligation to recognize this lady who was uh, here uh, back in 1937. The program was filled with songs and poems that honored Amelia Earhart. Senator Edith Dillon Guerrero was also in attendance, who was honored to be part of the celebration. It's very important. That's part of our history. So I was just like going around the museum. I saw some pictures of one uh, elderly woman that I was told that she was washing the clothes of Amelia Earhart. And I know the old lady. Yes, she's actually my aunt's mother. And, and that just really confirms a lot of why it is, it is important that we promote Amelia Earhart and um, this government, our government, we really need to provide some funding for the, you know, for the project itself and also more money for the museum. So I'm very excited. Um, I, I hope more people will come out and visit the museum and learn also more about Amelia Earhart so, so that we can also teach our kids the history of the Commonwealth. Currently, there are plans to have a memorial monument built around Garapan area, where she was believed to be last seen. We started this in 2017, uh, and we are trying to uh, educate the people so that eventually we will uh, build the memorial monument for Amelia Earhart here on Saipan because uh, Amelia Earhart is an accomplished woman. She was the one who, who uh, changed the role of woman all over the world. Among the invited guests was also House Speaker Edmund Villagomez, who is aware of the monument plans and also acknowledges that her presence in the region is significant. Whether she did set foot on Saipan or not, but it's good to build a monument, uh, you know, to, to pay the respects for the, the path that she blazed for everyone that came after and, uh, you know, maybe as a, a source of, of, of inspiration that anything is possible. Happy belated. Coming up, no one likes to get bogged down, right? Wrong. These guys love it. Sports is next. We're going to get dirty. For the different beats of your life, we're here to keep you connected the way you want it. Plans made for you, by you. Build your own bundle with Link. Select the internet, entertainment, mobile, and home phone plans that fit your lifestyle. Pay for what you want, not for what you don't. Build your own bundle and save with Link. 
Drop into the Shake Cafe at Gold's Gym for a quick and healthy meal. It's fast food that's good for you. Our July Smoothie of the Month has oatmeal, peanut butter, raisins, and cinnamon. It's a healthy blend of 450 calories that's perfect for a meal replacement or supplement. Shake it up at Gold's Gym. Opioids are commonly prescribed drugs. They can help ease short-term pain after surgery, an accident, or illness. Common brand names include Vicodin, Demerol, Oxycontin, and Percocet. Opioids can be very addictive, and they can actually change how your brain works. Opioid misuse can lead to death. If you are prescribed an opioid medication, talk to your doctor. Always take exactly as directed, never take higher doses, keep your medication secure, and safely dispose of unused or expired medication. It only takes a little to lose a lot. The Tan Sri Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. We're in a race whether we know it or not. And build our new normal. Enough of my to be out. Let's activate Tonight's sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Point of sports fans. Buenos sports fans, after six months of racing in dust and red dirt, the cow town was turned into a mud fest. The Marianas Racing Association concluded its championship season, 11 different racing divisions. We're going to get to all of them sometime this week. We're going to start off with these today. Monsoon rains rendered part of the cow town racetrack unrideable. MRA had to modify the track course. So get off the mud, get on the roof and see better. Parts of the track were accidents waiting to happen and that made parents nervous. 
<laughs> Scared? This was the first time for most of these peewee riders to race on mud and they were falling down all over the place. But they all got up and finished. Conan Jacopo takes the checkered flag followed by Genoa Santos and Keenan Tagawa. Jonah had bigger problems than mud. Genoa, what happened out there? My bike just died because my engine overheated. Representative Joel Camacho racing with a heavy heart. I came out to race. Uh, I wanted to dedicate this race to our my beloved brother, Representative Ivan Blanco. Uh, this one's for you, my brother. Uh, rest, rest in peace in heaven. The good Lord, for Jesus Christ, and this race for you. Love you. Camacho racing in the novice division. Henry Camacho Jr. took the victory ahead of his cousin Corey Pangolini. No accidents for them. Talk about the difference between the day, the mud, the track, and the conditions, and what you've been used to all season. Uh, it's all experience, honestly. Yeah, you gotta go out there, feel it, and if you, know, if you feel better right in this condition, it's for you. If you're not used to it, then get out here and keep doing it some more. Scary moment at the beginning of the mini race for Stanley Jacopo Jr. What happened? So when a guy was rolling the van, he, he kept on uh, like swinging it, and then once he let go of the van, he threw it, and then it was right at my head, so then when I went, it just got stuck to my neck, and then I got a rash on my back, and it hurts. Were you really scared when that started to happen? No. Did you know what happened? Did you realize that you just had to come to a straight stop to be okay? Yes. okay. Turns out he wasn't the only one in the Acapo family to have issues with the start. My uh, sister, she uh, she was a bit too close to the rope, so the rope hit her uh, tire. So and she stopped right there. She reset, went off, and boom, she took off. And that was like a huge, great comeback because she was last to take off and everything, but she still got second. Well, one good thing about all that mud, we got to see a mud bog. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Eco Camp starts Monday, July 12th at Mariana's Trekking Camp. Activities include hiking, snorkeling, off-road and kayaking, field trips, arts and crafts, and go-karting. You can sign up online at marianastrekking.com. Just $100 per session includes lunch. See you at Eco Camp. Get out and get into gear at EcoCamp. Designed for ages six and above. Experience go-karting, off-roading, kayaking, snorkeling, hiking, and field trips. Sign up online at marianastrekking.com and take advantage of a special weekly rate of $100, including lunch. Starts July 12th. See you at EcoCamp. You have a phone, a game, an iPad, a laptop? Good. Leave them at home because the screen time at EcoCamp is sunscreen. Hike, bike, kayak, snorkel, off-road, and go-kart. EcoCamp starts July 12th at Mariana's Trekking. Sign up at marianastrekking.com. Do you have the flexibility to work out between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m.? At Gold's Gym, we call this off-peak, and it can save you money. 
short-term daytime memberships on sale now, just $59 per month, and gets you access to the biggest and cleanest fitness center on island. Get yourself healthy and strong. Check out Gold's Gym today. Here is our weather report for today. The high temperature reached 87, low 80, 91% humidity. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, some isolated showers. Wind south, 10 to 15 miles an hour. High 86, low 78, seas 5 to 6 feet. Sunrise, 558. A high tide at 2 past 9, a low tide at 18 past 4, and then sunset at 649. That's your Monday sports news and weather. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you back here on Wednesday.